All right, I'm not gonna lie. 2022 wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. It was kind of in the middle. It was kind of in between those two things. And um, I think this year we need to fix that. Hey everybody, Big Jano here. Welcome back to the channel and happy 2023. Hope everyone's having a fantastic start to their new year. I know everybody says new year, new me, and this year's gonna be my year. And uh, But today I wanna talk about what I have planned for 2023 and some goals I have for myself in 2023 that I really wanna to try to follow this year. Most of these goals are gonna pertain to 3D printing, content creation, making, things of this nature that you see here on the channel and other platforms. Uh, but I also have some other goals as well, some personal goals that I'm gonna to try to kind of keep on top of this year. By the way, new mic arm. <laughs> Thousand percent better, right? Hopefully this eliminates me bumping my microphone with my hand on my desk, but there's already been a few times where I've hit the mute button accidentally on my microphone. So fingers crossed, we make it through a whole recording session. <laughs> For those longtime viewers of the channel, you might remember me doing a video like this back at the very beginning of 2021, just a few months after we started this whole YouTube channel. And I kind of wanted to make a new one of these for a couple different reasons. One, I didn't really have accountability on that last video. I didn't do a follow-up video after the 2021 goals video to see what I actually accomplished. And two, I didn't get many views on that video, probably because I didn't have much of an audience back then. So I wanted to do another version of this video to see if we can actually stay accountable this year and see if this type of video just doesn't do well on YouTube. I don't know, we'll find out. I'm gonna also do my best not to ramble on any particular topic too long. I'll try to keep this as short and sweet as possible. So you guys will try to watch the whole thing. All right, without wasting any more time, let's get right into this and talk about goal number one, and that is to monetize this YouTube channel. I'm putting this at the top of my list this year, more or less because we got really close to monetizing the YouTube channel last year, but then the watch hour number didn't quite get to that 4,000 watch hour mark that we needed. And with the month of December and the last half of November getting stupidly overwhelmed with life and other things and the holidays, I just uh, couldn't produce enough content to get over that hump last year. And it just, the watch number started going down a little bit. And I know you guys are gonna say, well, you can't post once every two months on this channel. That is a fair point. My goal is to try to do a lot more of that this year and stay on top of it so I can actually produce more content for the channel at a more regular pace rather than once every couple months and then throw a YouTube short here and there um, to kind of balance that out. But I do wanna produce more content in 2023. I think we can do it this year. I just gotta be a lot more persistent posting content that's going to count those watch hours. Although YouTube has now decided that it's going to allow YouTube Shorts views to be considered for YouTube partner application. I think if you get 10 million views in 90 days, it counts towards that as well. So who knows, we might do more YouTube Shorts this year. I know the YouTube Shorts in my channel have done a lot better in terms of views and engagement versus the long-term videos. I do like making Shorts because they're easier to make and it's less time consuming. So we'll see what happens this year. I would like to continue to post content on both sides, on the long-term content and the Shorts and uh, we'll just see how things play out. If I've learned anything in the last few years, it's that content creation isn't easy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But they say if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And I don't mind a challenge. So I really hope this one pans out for us here in 2023. All right, on to goal number two, and this one kind of relates to goal number one, and that is to pursue or strengthen my project niche or content niche, if you wanna call it that. If you watch a lot of other YouTubers or other content creators on other social media platforms in the 3D printing space, you'll notice that they mostly focus on one or two areas of their content almost completely. So I think for myself this year, I think we need to kind of dial ourselves in and kind of focus on what this channel wants to be. For our last few years, we've been mainly showcasing tutorial videos as well as showing off our latest 3D printing projects. Most of the time they've included LED lights, such as the, the nozzle over here or the Jano leaves. But if you noticed in my tagline, it says gaming, 3D printing and creating awesomeness, which awesomeness really isn't its own category. It's more or less in the tagline. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we haven't really done any gaming here on the channel in, oh my gosh, three years. So it might be time to take the gaming tag out of the tagline. 
In my latest YouTube banner, I did add DIY projects to that to showcase that we do DIY projects here. So that might be kind of the shift and focus we have here in 2023, along with keeping up with different tutorial videos on the 3D printers I have, as well as more or less in general in 3D printing. But let me know in the comments, what would you guys like to see here in 2023 as suggestions or things that you don't see a lot on other people's channels that you want to see talked about? Let me know down below. Don't get me wrong, I love making all sorts of content here on the channel. However, I think if we focus on one or two particular avenues for most of our content this year, I think that's gonna help the growth and the algorithm start pushing our stuff out to more people. But regardless of what content we're gonna make this year, it's gonna be content that I feel good about making, I enjoy making. It's not gonna be just stuff because the algorithm likes it. It's gonna be because I like it. All right, number three, growth by continued education and learning new skill sets. I know this goes without saying, but in order to grow, you need to learn new things. And 2023 is no different. I wanna continue learning new skills in 2023 that are only going to help make our content better, both on the content creation side of things. I wanna get better at video editing. I wanna get better at recording and just making better quality videos this year. And I think that's gonna push our content in the right direction. I also wanna learn new skill sets as a maker. I really wanna learn how to solder this year so we can make some really awesome projects and just make our projects that much better. If anyone's checked out my live streams over on Twitch, you guys know that I've made a lot of excuses in the past that because I live in this apartment, I don't have a lot of space for soldering and I don't have a lot of space for proper ventilation for soldering equipment. However, I need to figure out a way to get over that obstacle so I can continue learning and making better projects. I, I think it's just time we do that. I'll find a way, I hope. <laughs> Besides new skills that help with content creation or making new projects, I do want to focus also on my personal growth and personal education. And I am looking actually towards going back to school and getting my master's degree. Having my undergraduate background in mechanical engineering, I would love to continue to grow my engineering knowledge, maybe go into something related to engineering, but I also want to maybe focus on the business side of things and possibly looking at getting an MBA or engineering management degree, but I'm still trying to figure out the pieces of that. Um, but that's one thing in 2023 that I really wanna try pursuing this year, possibly by the end of this year. And I'll be honest, if I do end up doing that, I might hinder some of the content on this channel this year, but it's something in the back of my mind that I've had for a little bit of time now. And uh, I'm tired of waiting around. I, I kinda wanna just do it, you know? So we'll see what happens. Number four. This one's a big one. Take a little bit better care of my 3D printers in 2023. 2022 was probably a little bit more challenging than most in terms of the 3D printing side of things because I had so many issues with my printers going down throughout the year at various stages, primarily the Anycubic printer back there. And I just wanna do a better job of keeping both machines up and running. My goal would be for the whole year without having to do maintenance. Now, regular maintenance for like nozzle repair, nozzle clogs, uh, you know, filament issues, stuff like that. I don't mind doing on a day-to-day -day basis, but there were times where I've had to take the printers down for multiple days at a time or even weeks at a time because of stupid issues or because something just wasn't working the way it should have been. And I think, like I said in my last video, if I start doing preventative maintenance a little bit better, I think um, that's gonna help keep these things up and running longer in 2023. You can see back there, the FL Sun Super Racers hot end is taken apart because I have to fix the hot end. I believe the hot end right now is giving me extruder skipping. So, ironic fit to this uh, video here. <laughs> also, like I said in my last video, I needed to do a better job of keeping spare parts available and knowing where to go to get spare parts because the supply chain still sucks and most manufacturers don't have spare parts on their websites at the moment. But the ultimate goal is to keep these printers up and running long enough that I don't have to buy spare parts every few weeks to replace. The return of investment in 3D printing isn't very high when you're constantly having to buy parts every few weeks to keep a machine up and running. It just doesn't make financial sense. And with everything going up in cost in 2022 and probably 2023, I'd like to try to save some money where I can or save some money for new 3D printers in 2023. Yeah, that, I like that answer better. <laughs> Doing the repair work that I do on these printers, I think I need to do a better job of keeping these things from having to get re-repaired again and I think that lands on me. So I'm gonna do a better job of keeping these things up and running. And when I do have to take them apart or fix things, I'm gonna try to do a better job of making sure I solve the problems instead of 
fixing what I think is the problem, having it run for a couple days, and then go back down again for more maintenance. I'll be really interested to see how this one goes in 2023. I know I'm supposed to expect the unexpected with 3D printing, but yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see what happens with this and see how how well I actually do this one. All right, number five, and the last one on this list, because let's face it, the more you put on the list, the more resolutions you have, the less that actually gets done. And I wanna keep this short and sweet. Number five, and this one's kind of a moral victory type of goal for myself this year. And that is to just not worry as much about what the future lies in terms of content creation, and also focus on myself being the best version of myself uh, for the content this year. And I think it has to stem a lot with not comparing myself to other content creators. I know you're not supposed to do that. We all do it at some point. I've done it this past year and it's very, very defeating. I've had some times where I don't want to make content at times. There's just times where I'm not motivated to make content because I'm like, well, what's the point if so-and-so is making content that's X amount of times better than mine, no one's gonna watch this stuff. No one's gonna engage with it, but I need to start worrying more about myself, what I can control and what I can't control. And I think this year, just not not get so upset with myself. I think that's the thing. It's I have such high expectations for myself when I do anything, not just content creation or 3D printing, but I always try to do the best I can. And sometimes I just, completely kill any self-confidence I have because it's not the best I think it can be. I'm just very high expectations. Um, but I need to start worrying less about things I can't control this year. You know, if it doesn't happen the way you want it to, that's okay. I've, I've come to understand that a little bit better. Having joy in making content, because that's what's going to keep motivating me to do better. And that's what's going to help continue to push the growth here in 2023. I need to do a better job of reminding myself that everyone's path to what they want to accomplish in life is different. Everyone has different goals. And just because you're not in the same path as others or someone's moving faster along their path than you are, that doesn't mean you're not successful. And I need to just do a better job of realizing that next year. And just admitting this now to you guys, I think we're going in the right direction. I'm gonna stop sweating all the small stuff and just have fun with the content. That's all I can do. There you have it, everyone. That's my list of goals for 2023, both in the 3D printing and content creation space, as well as some personal goals. What do you guys think of the list? Let me know down below. And what are your goals for 2023? I'd love to know that as well. And let's help us try to keep each other accountable this year. We're gonna try to make a video at the end of this year and kind of recap what we did, what we didn't, and kind of set ourselves for 2024. So remind me at the end of this year <laughs> to make that video because I'll probably forget to be honest with you. Also, if you haven't done so yet and you would want to continue following along this journey here on the channel, consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video or enjoyed any of the goals that I had planned for 2023. A reminder to everybody, I'm also on other social media platforms. You can follow me on Twitter as well, at BigJano on Twitter. If you want to join our Discord community, there'll be a link to our Discord in the video description, as well as if you want to check out our live streams on Twitch. We go live on Twitch a few nights a week, usually working on projects, 3D printing, and just hanging back and having the fun in a low-key environment with the 3D printing community. If you're interested in that, there'll be a link to our Twitch live streams also in the video description. With that being said, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you everyone for watching and making it to the end. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. I'll catch you in the next video. And until next time, keep doing it big.